Welcome to our YouTube channel, Let Us Pray. In our videos we study the Bible, chapter by chapter. We provide the audio of the chapter from the Bible, and then we give a small study and a prayer. We hope you can learn with us today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to give this video a like. Let's read 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. Paul, Silas, and Timothy. To the Church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more, and the love all of you have for one another is increasing. Therefore, among God's churches we boast about your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials you are enduring. All this is evidence that God's judgment is right, and as a result you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you, and give relief to you who are troubled, and to us as well. This will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with his powerful angels. He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might on the day he comes to be glorified in his holy people and to be marveled at among all those who have believed. This includes you, because you believed our testimony to you. With this in mind, we constantly pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and that by his power he may bring to fruition your every desire for goodness and your every deed prompted by faith. We pray this so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, as we open your word today, we ask for wisdom understanding and open hearts. We pray that you speak through me today, and may our eyes be open to the truth of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I greet you today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We gather in this online space to explore the wisdom and guidance found in the Holy Scriptures. Today we turn to the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. This book, written by the Apostle Paul to the fledgling church in Thessalonica, carries within it messages of grace, glory, and justice. And these messages, dear friends, echo down the centuries and resonate even in our lives today. In the opening verses, Paul expresses deep gratitude for the Thessalonians, commending their growing faith and increasing love, even in the middle of their tribulations. Friends, this isn't a casual remark. It's a profound observation about the human spirit, strengthened and guided by faith. Consider your own journey. Recall those moments when you felt the weight of the world upon your shoulders, yet paradoxically, your faith and love expanded. Just like the Thessalonians, we too are capable of profound spiritual growth in the midst of trials. As we move further into the chapter, Paul speaks of God's just judgment. This can be challenging for us to comprehend, this balance between a God of love and a God of justice. However, Paul reassures the Thessalonians that their persecutors will face divine judgment, a judgment based not on pettiness, but on perfect justice. We live in a world marked by injustices, some small and personal, others vast and sweeping. When we face these injustices, it is comforting to remember that we worship a just God, who will bring every deed into the light. Finally, Paul prays for the Thessalonians, expressing his hope that they may live a life worthy of God's calling, a life that honors the name of Jesus. This, dear brothers and sisters, is not just a prayer for the Thessalonians, but also a prayer for us. Let us heed Paul's exhortation. Let's seek to live lives that reflect the grace and love we have received from our Lord Jesus. Let's encourage one another, pray for each other, and strive to be vessels of God's glory in a world that desperately needs it. To wrap up, dear friends, the words of Paul to the Thessalonians ring true for us today. Like them, we face trials and tribulations. Like them, we strive to grow in faith and love. And like them, we can rest in the knowledge of God's perfect justice we are called to live lives worthy of God's calling, lives that reflect His love, His grace and His justice. It may not always be easy, but it is always worth it. As we go out into our daily lives, let's carry with us the messages of grace, glory and justice that Paul wrote about so many centuries ago. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, 
We thank you for your word, for its truth, and for its relevance in our lives today. Help us to grow in faith and love, to trust in your justice, and to live lives that honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. We study the Bible chapter by chapter. Please don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a like. See you in the next video.